An 18 year old North Texan was arrested and charged with causing a deadly crash and then leaving the scene. Police in Rome, that's a small town in Wise County, northwest of Fort Worth, say Christopher Fowler here was driving the wrong way on Highway 287 when he slammed into Toyota Camry with a family inside. A five year old boy died. A 14 year old was seriously hurt. Police say Fowler initially stayed on the scene but then left when troopers were investigating the crash. Fox 4's Macy Jenkins spoke to police and joins us live in Fort Worth. Macy. Hi, Steve. Well, that 14-year-old was brought here to Cook Children's Medical Center for treatment. Rome Police Department is still investigating this entire incident, along with the help of the Wise County Sheriff's Office and the Texas Rangers. 18-year-old Christopher Fowler is facing three felony charges after police say he crashed into another vehicle carrying a family of six while driving the wrong way on Highway 287 in Rome in Wise County. Five-year-old Gideon Osameki died at the scene while 14-year-old Maverick Bible Avant was airlifted to Cook Children's Medical Center with severe injuries. It's unclear what the 14-year-old's current condition is. Because it's completely senseless. Rome Police Chief Eric Debus told Fox 4 they got the call at 1.22 Sunday morning from a Wise County Sheriff's deputy who had spotted a reckless driver in a Nissan Xterra heading northbound in the southbound lane of Highway 287. A trooper was working that night in our area and actually saw him driving the wrong way. According to police documents, that DPS trooper tried to catch up with the Nissan and turned on his lights to alert oncoming traffic. That's when he witnessed the Nissan collide head on with a Toyota Camry just south of Pioneer Parkway. Well, the vehicles had ended up a, a fair distance away from each other when they came to rest. The trooper noticed Fowler, the driver of the Nissan, seemed to be okay, so he turned his attention to helping the family in the Camry. Police say when the trooper returned to the Nissan, Fowler was gone. After the crash occurred, uh, when the trooper and the officers went back to his vehicle, only a couple minutes, if, if that, uh, he had already fled on foot. Deputies and officers searched the area but couldn't find him. So they traced the license plate, leading them to Fowler's home in North Lake. He was arrested Sunday afternoon. The arrest warrant affidavit says that Fowler's father had told police his son had, quote, left a friend's house and he does remember being in an accident. Deba says police are still trying to determine whether or not Fowler was under the influence or somehow impaired when he crashed. There's a reason you drive the wrong way on a highway. Uh, you don't, I don't. Um, something caused that person to go the wrong way on a highway. We talked to Fowler's father off camera. He declined our request to interview, but he said that his son made a very, very bad mistake and he's devastated. Now, Fowler is charged with one count of manslaughter and two counts of accident involving injury or death. At this point, police believe he was the only one in the car and there was no one in there with him.